Hi, for this video I just wanted to show you how you could download files from SoundCloud easily. On SoundCloud many artists pro provide free links to their songs, but often they have a, a lot of annoying steps to go through. Even if you have subscribed to them for example, they will ask you to keep doing that again and again just to get a single file. And for other artists they won't have a download option at all, instead they just uh, have a buy button for a store. But that doesn't make sense. For the artists that uh, offer a buy, you can uh, listen to to the song on SoundCloud for free. So why would you need to buy it if you if you just wanted to listen on the, your local machine? So in this video, I want to show you how you can use a free tool called YouTube DL to download all the files, albums, and whole artists whenever you want. It works not just for SoundCloud, but YouTube and many other sites. Just go to the site you see on the screen, download the executable file and place it in an empty folder somewhere. If you are on Windows like me, just show it in the folder, then press Ctrl X to cut it, then go somewhere like uh, that is E or C, make an empty folder there and then paste it. Then just open the PowerShell terminal and we'll be able to use this executable to download the files from YouTube or SoundCloud. I'm just changing the font size so it is easier to see the terminal on the screen here. To download a file, just paste an URL into the terminal and uh, pass it on to the YouTube DL executable. If you are trying to run an executable in PowerShell, prefix it with a dot and a slash before typing the name of it. Paste the URL, press enter and it will download the, the song. Downloading whole albums or playlists or an even entire artists isn't much different from this. This artist for example doesn't have a download page, only a buy button. But using this tool you can still download his tracks. To download an album just paste the URL of the album and uh, go through the same process. This will download it, but it won't uh, be in a form you'd uh, prefer. We'll abort the download with Ctrl C here. If you look in the folder, the problem with this approach is that uh, the tracks do not have track uh, indexes or uh, albums. It would be better if we could download all the albums for an artist into their own separate folders along with the track indexes, as a part of the file names. As luck would have it, YouTube DL's uh, documentation has examples on how to do that. What we need to do is just copy paste the third example into the terminal and then pass it the correct URL. We'll show how it is done. Sorry, we misspelled the executable name. It should be YouTube DL. Now if we run this, it will download all the albums for the artist into their own directories. Now that we run the command, it is downloading. And if you look in the Carmina in the music directory, we'll see that the files are there and that they are prefixed with the, their track index. That's about it for this video. Leave a like, subscribe and we'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.